What is going on today guys, this is Tony from Team Divine Pro, and yes, I realize that yes, the camera has been fixed, uh, whoopee, yes, hooray, woot woot, and um, all that good stuff. So, now that it's fixed, I can finally get around to actually doing the deck profiles that I've wanted to be doing, it's just the fact that I didn't really want to show them on really meh quality cameras. So, uh, let's finally get into it, so today we're going to be, it's also because, um, English, you guys are getting all of the new CDs out right now, so I really want to get these out early. So, we're going to be starting uh, one of the many videos that I'll be recording, and today it's going to be on Gear Chronicle. Uh, and if you guys are wondering, I have not sleeved these because I do not have any more inner sleeves, but I am thinking about sleeving them with one of these. Not exactly sure which one. Comment down below to tell me which one I should sleeve them in. But yeah, so let's get right into it. So our starter is actually not a uh, Gear Gunner Draco Kid, but actually the um, starter that lets you counterblast one, check the top five cards of your deck, and you can do this whenever you want. So it's very, it's a lot faster in the sense that you can search your deck faster, and then it gives you right away a grade three for stride later on, or just to make sure that you don't get grade stuck and you don't have to G assist. Then moving on, we play eight grade fours. I mean, whoa, what am I saying? No, 8 grade 3s, we run 4 Chrono Jet Dragons, um, I'm assuming all of you guys know what Chrono Jet Dragon does, if not, for those of you who don't, Generation Break 1, your opponent can't guard with uh, grade 0s or higher, I mean grade 1s or higher, and then the other ability is that he can um, counterblast 1, and if you have st if you've stridden or something, it can send the top one of your opponent's rear guards to the bottom of the deck, if I'm correct. If you have one face up in the stride zone, if I'm correct. With that. Then we play four of the Legion. So this one legions with a card that you'll see later on in a minute. And then his ability is that um it's a it's a two K it's a two K boot beater. And then the effect is that it um it gains plus two hundred two thousand when it's tagging the attacks. And then on top of that, it, when it's perform when you perform Legion, you can send one card back from your, one of your opponent's rear guards to the bottom of the deck. So it's like a bounce. So that is the um, lineup for the grade threes. For grade twos, we run eleven and we run four ten k beaters. Um, the deck does require ten k beaters, guys, because for one, there isn't much other stuff that you, like that's really good that you can play. Like you could play the trial deck one that send that call superior call stuff, or I mean that bounces stuff back. But I found that the deck is already very counterblast heavy, so you don't have the room for it. Like if most, maybe one or two, but I find that four ten k beaters is good. That's how I'm gonna run it, and then you and plus since like when you activate Chrono Jet, you wanna like rush your opponent. Um, we run four of the other card, and this is serves the same purpose as the card I just mentioned earlier. It's the same thing in that uh, it's also the Legion. Legion. Um, it's also the Legion. Um, its ability is that it wants the Vanguard. You can Soul Blast if it's the rare card. You can Soul Blast two from the Vanguard, and then you can put one of your opponents a. Uh, um, your opponent can't guard with a grade zero, so it's kind of like serving the same purpose where it's reducing your opponent's field presence because they have to reduce their hand presence, kind of. And then we run three 11k, uh, 12k attackers because they are only active during generation break, so they're not very viable early to early game, but late late game they are very come in handy. They do come in handy a lot. And on top of that, because you play 10ks, you can guard with a 10k uh, vanilla a 10k. Uh, during the first turn and then that's like a no pass because most vanguards nowadays are only 9k's so it, it gives you fuel for legion and moving on for grade th uh, ones we run 14 i believe i'm not sure can't remember so we run three uh ak boosters um just standard ak boosters because you want to hit those magic numbers uh three uh the soul blast two draw one card it's cycle for legion and then we run four uh, the, of the gear um, dragon so well two signed and then one you know got one two uh, rares but yeah and regardless um, two car four of those because there's not really too too much to play in the deck you and it's also a 7k uh, body which isn't very uh, which isn't very available right now to the de uh, to the deck so it's there and plus this deck does revolve around stride because it is one of the main most powerful units. Now, I only have three um, 
of the new perfect guard types that counter blast but if i did have another one i would play another one but for now i only have uh, one of these and which is perfectly fine because considering where you play you could be playing against the x and then you might just want to not play these at all because then you want to protect your rear guards but apart from that that is it so then i will move on to grade zeros standard lineup four heal four crit four more crit so eight crit and then four draw um not much to say the draw trigger i th if it's called to rear guard you gave plus three thousand so that does help with hitting magic numbers and this deck is really revolved around his um rushing the opponent kind of quickly but also reducing their um hand size and all that so it's like kind of like hand control and at the same time uh, like aggro aggro um, moving on to something that's new, I guess, is the uh, G units. So I have to remember there's exactly eight, so I have to just grab eight. Alrighty then, G units. So I'm gonna. Uh, I don't actually have. Like, I will explain to you guys in a second why my choices are so odd. So I only run two Chrono Jet Command. Uh, that is actually very normal to have two Chrono Jet Commands as your G unit. I just need to check exactly what its ability is. Uh, stride this card on your vanguard from your face down. Counter blast two, soul blast one. Choose a card from your hand and discard it. When this unit attacks, hits a vanguard. You may pay the cost. If you do, your opponent puts all of his or her rear guards to the bottom of his or her deck in any order. So it's basically returning everything if it hits. So that's the only reason why you have two because you it does apply a lot of pressure, but early game it's not going to hit for sure. Late game it's for sure going to hit, but then by then you should be winning because so it's good to apply pressure, but not really. Um, early to late, not late game. I mean, not early game. I run only two Ragnarok Dragons because I don't have another two. I would play four if I could, and its ability is that um, Counter Blast One choose a face down card. So it's a Persona Blast for Counter Blast One, and turn it. You may pay the cost. And your opponent can't guard with the grade zero card from your hand. Then if the number of cards face down your G units two or more, this unit gets plus one critical and, until the end of battle. So this is a more of a consistent card because then your opponent can't guard, so it does apply a lot more pressure, and it's just all around better than Chrono Command in most situations. Um, but apart from that, yeah, I would run four of those. And then apart from that, I would run two Ancient uh, Dragon. It's the promo that I can't exactly remember the effect, but it's the one that you want to stride first, then go into this, and then maybe Chrono Command. But to make up for the lack of that, I just run, because uh, stride doesn't really matter, as long as, like, it's the same rules as, like, with any Vanguard, if you tr check a trigger, but as long as you have a rear guard, you can give it to there. So I run two of the Saint Blow Dragon from uh, Royal Paladin. It's the Persona Blast, and then it can do something, I'm not exactly sure. Uh, critical, 3,000, I think you can call a rear guard, something like that. It's par It's good though, that's all I know. And then we played two Vict Plasma, it can stand, that I know for sure, and it's the same concept that since I have this, I might as well run that as so. And then to round off, just a grade 4 that anyone can play is Atomos. Atomos is just really good because it does, it gives in those uh, high, high level, uh, high number beats because it goes in for, um, uh, 30, 30 something because you'll have the Vanguard and soul in heart and soul thingy. So apart from that, guys, um, I don't know, not much else to say. Uh, this deck is quite fun. It does apply a lot of pressure and it is really cool to play. And having, uh, generation rares are really, really fun to also show off to your friends. But apart from that, the deck is really consistent. <laughs> It's not the best deck of the meta, but it is, in my opinion, the second best. So, well, obviously Kagero is too good, but when it gets nerfed, and this will be probably the best deck, in my opinion. But apart from that, guys, it's been Tony. Uh, comment, rate, like, and subscribe. Stay tuned for the rest of the deck profiles, because I will be getting probably Royal Paladin done soon. But I will be uploading also um, Victor Plasma, Plasma, or whatever his name is, the Nova Grappler one. And I might be doing Kagero, like I probably won't do it in card form because I don't won't have all the cards in, but apart from that, I'll just do it on the computer or something, and then I'll also be doing Neo Nectar. And with that said, guys, I've been Tony from Team Divine Pro. Make sure to let me know which sleeves I should pick, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!